Hello, brother Anthony. Shorts have gone over my knees there. It's hot. It's hot here now. It's hot. It's because we're in Africa. Yeah. Summertime. Supposed to be hot. Yeah. Speaking of Africa, you know, I was talking to some brothers the other week, and they were sort of, I don't want to say how hot. I guess I'm being a little dramatic, overly, actually overly dramatic on this, but they were sort of distraught because the, the just on stores, Mr. Wendt's of bankruptcy, they're, they're closed. So there's no more just on stores. That's a store that had a lot of cosmetic products, you know, uh, a, a little, uh, you know, like buckets, what well, they call them buckets, but you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, like canisters, like you got, like, you know, like, like you got here, things, like, things like this, you know, they sold things like uh, this, and I'm like, nice little store like that, but it's out of business. Mm. Then I got to think, you know, Business in Africa. Well, you know, it's not. Let me put it this way. Let's let's say, okay, just don't go out of business. Of course, now all that stock's got to go someplace so somebody will buy it or be liquidated, whatever happened, you know? And then the stores will be, all those stores will be there so that somebody else will move into those stores. Now, say, for instance, you're a, a, a rich, oil rich country or, or you went to one of those fiat country countries, you know, that, that, that uh, uh, fiat currency countries that, um, that make a lot of money off of it. Like, let's say China, they got a, lot, a whole lot of money. They're just coming to buy up all those, those, those store, those now empty stores, put their products in, maybe even leave the same products in. But let, in fact, let's stay on the Chinese for a second. Think about, now they're, they're pretty smart. Think about what they do. They come in, they show the little knickknacks. You buy your little knickknacks from all those little cheap things, right? Then they take that money, send it back to China because the knickknacks are made by people, you know, little people, that, I'll say little people, I mean, people are getting paid little money, you know? Now they got enough money so they buy a ship, right? Now they can ship those little knickknacks that don't cost them a whole lot to make because they're, they're, they're making it workers work, a lot of workers work. So they own the ship that's now taking that stuff to the port here in, in Africa, you know? So they get down there like Durban or Port Elizabeth or Cape Town, whatever it may. Okay, now they say, okay, we're gonna get our stuff there. Hey, wait a second, we got enough money, let's buy some, let's buy some transport, some trucks. They get the stuff from the ship to say, I don't know, East London. We have a little distribution center in East London, so all our Chinese people will come in and say, hey, not just the Chinese, no, hey, the Pakistanis. I'm talking about the Pakistanis that's close to India, those are really Indians, you know, I don't know, and the Indians, whatever. Hey, we'll sell to them. Then they'll sell. So when you buy something, you think, okay, I don't like the Chinese, I'm gonna buy from a Pakistani guy. It's actually going. But he's eventually going to the same place. Mm -hmm. But isn't that the story all over Africa? Look at Africa. Come on. Every, we've been exploited all over. You know, right now. Okay, that's just business. Now, you take something like the United States. You say, well, the United States, they ain't doing nothing to Africa. They're not colonial. <coughs> colonial stuff like that. I say, oh, wait a second. Maybe they are. Because, you know, when they had the little conference, you know, the United States was the first one to sign off and said that King uh, Leopold was cool. The United States was the first country that did that, not the rest of Europe. Okay. Anyway, the United States was built in a trench from the Seychelles Islands, or a trench all the way, a military base was all the way over to Senegal. So you, you can, it's just like cutting the continent right in half, or well not in half, but right there, all military bases. They call it a trench. It's like, a, like hippopotamuses, you know, you can't, a hippopotamus is fierce, you know, but the only thing that hippopotamus can't do is go over a trench, you know. They can't do that. So they call it a trench, some kind of trench. I call it a Trojan trench. Because now you cut Africa and it cuts right where they, the Sudan, you know, they, we have another country now. You have South Sudan, South Sudan. And that country is cut right on the oil <laughs> area, you know. So, so militarily, the United States is all over, you know. Then they have some excuse, you know, oh, we're going to help, we're going to help the Kenyans, you know, we're going to help them, or we're going to help this Central African Republic, you know, with their, with their problems and our advisors there. Now you've got military people all over Africa. So the United States kind of sold up militarily. China and a bunch of other people, Pakistanis, whoever, got, got the economic sold up. What do Africans have? They got a bunch of, look. I don't want to talk, I don't want to call names or nothing like that, so I'm not going to say we got a bunch of despots that, don't, that still don't understand what's going on, so I won't say that. I didn't, I didn't say that. However, you would think that we would think, say, hey, you know, we got to change this little paradigm here. Forget, you know, we just got to change it. Now, the first thing we got to do, we got to change the money. 
So I'm, I'm into cryptocurrency, so I'll say that way that whole that whole fiat money that's 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 going just that anybody can print, you know, all these big companies can print, so that's gone. We gotta stop beating up on each other. That maybe eliminates all the arms people, you know. It's all of this stuff, it, it's possible. It's absolutely possible. We just gotta make up our minds. When I say we, I'm not talking about Africans. I'm talking about globally people who know, you know, globally people who, who want to be human. As Magdalene Sir Robinson Pupet would say, it's only way that's just a thought. Africa is precious. We got to hold it to our heart, the real Africa. We got to do something. And we got to do it quick, because they're getting this stuff all sold up. You know, because one more thing, I hate to go off, I know it's kind of long, let me just say one more thing. And the worst thing is that they're polluting our lands. All that stuff that they, they you know, like, like Europe, when they beat up all the forests, they ain't got no more resources there, they come to Africa for resources. You know, in, 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 in the United States, when they get that Monsanto's with all those pesticide companies, and also in India, they do the same thing, pesticides, you now they want to pesticide our land. And what does that do? That takes the minerals out of the soil. You know? Now, with the minerals in the soil, nothing's happening. Anyway, back to the point. No minerals, our bodies suffer. There you go. So anyway, this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director. Mm -hmm. Remember, that would be me, T, for the purpose of taking the train to Tibet, letting you know yes. what I only suspect. Okay.